Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here, and welcome to my tutorial on simulating light. Here's what we're going to be creating. I have this shot of our action star firing a gun, and we've added the muzzle flash using the Action Movie Essentials Collection found at videocopilot.net. And what I've done to enhance this effect is add some lighting to our character for that one frame. So if you look at the before, you can see that there's actually no lighting, just a simple plain shot. Now, this effect is good for uh, if you have lightning strikes or possibly Star Wars battle scenes when the lightsabers hit together or anytime you have a quick flash of light. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we have a blank composition with just our footage. And what I want to do is add our Action Movie Essentials muzzle flash. So I'm going to drag that out. And I'm going to use the flip flop preset just to flip it. And I'm going to move it into position. And just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to change the transfer mode to add. Okay, now to simulate the light, here's what we want to do. Create a new adjustment layer. And then take the pen tool and basically draw around the areas where you think the light would be emitting. So it's coming out of here. So it would probably get his fingers on this side. So we'll just draw a mask around the fingers and probably get his hat up here and he's got a little divot here and also we want to do his face and remember this is only for one frame so you can get pretty detailed if you like um, you don't have to sit here and do this frame by frame which is nice and um, you know, maybe just a little bit down here on his jacket, possibly on his sleeve. Okay, so we've drawn around the outlines where we want to brighten. So what we need to do is choose Effect, Color Correction, Levels. Since this is an adjustment layer, if we apply this levels to this area, only the portion that we have selected with masks is now going to be affected. First thing I'm going to do is take off the show masks and just bring the input white up. And as I do that, you'll see our layer brightens up. Now, it's a little sharp around the edges, but that's okay. We're going to hit F on the keyboard and bring up all the feathering for each one of our masks. Then select the feathering for each of the masks and increase it to, say, about 3 pixels or so, whatever you think is necessary. Okay, so now we can sort of refine our color adjustment. We don't need to make it too intense. And also if we go to our blue channel, we can sort of give it some color by just playing with the gamma. And if we go to the red channel, same type of thing. And basically, depending on how you want this to look, you can feather it, um, you know, certain masks more than other masks. Um, just so that it looks a little bit more realistic and just play around with the input white to show how much you wanna you know brighten up each point so the trick now is we only want this to cover one frame so you wanna trim this down to just one single frame you can alt begin and end bracket and that will do it for you Okay, so that looks pretty good. And another thing we could do too is add some light to this tree post. And what we'll do is just with that adjustment layer selected, just take the pen tool and draw around the part which would possibly be lit up. And let's feather it out some. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, for more information about using Action Movie Essentials, check out videocopilot.net. And there's a demo tutorial that just kind of highlights using Action Movie Essentials with the blood elements as well as the muzzle flashes. Anyway, uh, my name's Andrew Kramer, and uh, you can find me at creativecow.net in the After Effects and Photoshop forums, or visit my website at www.creativecow.net videocopilot.net. Thanks for watching.